Hey guys, um, on the third day we went to Epcot, so, and we went to Garden Grove for breakfast. And Which we had never done before, because yeah. we've only done, like, dinner there, but the breakfast yeah. is really good. Yeah, it's amazing. We love Garden Grill. It's good food for everybody. Yeah. And it's fun because it's a rotating restaurant and you get to meet some characters yeah. too. Tag, do you love Garden Grill? <laughs> so that's what he's doing. Yep. But yeah, so that's where we started out our morning at Epcot. Mm -hmm. And they were having their um, festival of holidays around the world or yeah. holidays around the inter 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 <laughs> international festival of the holidays. Uh, I don't, I can't talk and I don't even know what I'm saying anyway because I don't know what the name of it is. But it's really cool though because all around the world showcase they have um, holiday treats and activities and yeah. stuff and characters that are normally like going on in those countries um, for the winter months which is we, really fun we actually got to see Muppet Mobile Labs and um, I got picked to um, be asked questions well kind of. to possibly yeah. replace Beaker yep which you'll see the video of <laughs> yeah Beaker is not Ow. thrilled, but the yeah. Mupp getting to see the Muppet Mobile Lab was really fun because, yeah. you know, we love the Muppets. So yeah. And it was, was Dr. Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker. And you, you left my, well, my toys. Oh my on gosh. My <laughs> so we and you had to go back and get it. <laughs> Yes, I bought him a toy at um, one of the stores by Mission Space, oh, yeah, Mission Space. and I we went to ride um, the boat ride in Mexico with Donald. Um, that is really, f we always have to go to that, yeah. that's a fun one, and we love that ride. But, as he won't let me forget, I walked off and did not pick up his toy or the bag luckily we went back and i went back i ran there from like china is that where we were yeah were we in china or norway? no we were in norway oh, i thought we were further it fell a lot further than that whenever i was like trying to rush back over to it um and i retrieved the toy <laughs> But we also got to meet Donald, and they sang a little song for Donald that really made him want to cry. Yeah, right? he did. He went. Like... Yeah. So um, we tried to ride Frozen, but it, it was, was broken, broken down. Broken down. Yes. So we walked all the way back over there and skipped the rest of the World Showcase. From like we went as far as Japan, and then we, we went all cones. the way. Yes. The the melon snow cones, like the shaved ice over in Japan, is the best. It's that's one of the number one things that you have to get at Epcot. Yeah, they're amazing. They're so good. So um, then we went all the way back over to Norway just to find out that Frozen was not up, and I should have checked the app because I could have found that out. But um, yeah, it goes so, backwards. It yeah, we did not get to do that. We thought we were gonna get to go back to ride it, but Wednesday night, so once we got back from Epcot and had been there for a little while, we were gonna go back out again to another park. To Magic Kingdom. We were gonna go back to Magic Kingdom and all of a sudden Yeah. <laughs> it was it was rough because the other one had something else too and but hers was far worse. So yeah. that was kind of the start of our vacation. Um, going a little off the rails. But... Um, I got to go to the Christmas party. Yes. And we'll show you video from that in a um, couple days. Yep. So exciting. Bye. Oh, Pluto is still my favorite dog. You guys are like... Crushing that we just got here. Okay, that is that orange or no, that's it's, melon, right? It's melon. That's not. Yeah, my hands are okay. sticky, so. Okay. <laughs> Aww. We've been 
so excited to come have breakfast with you, Mickey. Is this your all's favorite place to eat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Those are pretty. The cotton is pretty. Oh, look at the Mickey reindeer. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so cute. Monkeys. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique persists. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> you're, the, <laughs> you're the real leader of the clubhouse, aren't you, Donald? Yeah. <laughs> you're our favorite. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can we get their books? Yes. Are you going to tell them what you want? <laughs> no, no, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> and what does Santa and Mrs. Claus want for Christmas? <laughs> I like that one. Merry Christmas. Oh, Tag, do you want to go sit? Go give Mrs. Mrs. Claus a hug real quick. Okay. Bye. Merry Christmas. This looks good. It is. This might give you the honey or something awful. <laughs> Is it a good tag? Thank you. Is this one of our favorite Epcot treats? Is this wasabi? Maybe the most Yes? Yeah, that's right. No, wasabi is hot. That's um, melon shaved ice. Dynamite gas. Year one, dynamite gas. a younger person. Yes, any younger people here interested in becoming a lab assistant at Puppet Labs? You got someone new? Let's give this little person a round of applause. Hello there. I'm Dr. Bunsen. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? Hello, Lucy. Lucy, how old are you? Nine years old. Do you have a, do you have a favorite subject in school, Lucy? History. Oh, that's wonderful. And very coincidental because in a few moments, Beaker will be history. <laughs> All right, Lucy, go ahead and place your hands to the sides of your head and try and think about science. The distance between the center of the Earth and the center of the moon is 384,450 kilometers. We have a winner! <laughs> wow, Lucy, you're smart. You know what, Lucy, you're smarter than I am. That means I'd have to be your assistant to... Hey, let's give Lucy a hand for helping us out. She's going to open up her own laboratory someday. Thank you so much for your help today, Lucy. I'd have to be her assistant. She's too smart for us. We'll have to continue the search for Beaker's replacement later. No, Beaker, it's not time to ride Spaceship Earth. We're on a mission to make science fun. Hey, speaking of fun, is anyone here celebrating a birthday on December 6th? Do we have any December 6th birthdays here today? Newton, do you see anyone? No, not right now. That's okay. We can skip that portion of the display. No one, Newton? No. No. All right, that's okay. We'll move on to our final demonstration. How many of you fine folks have taken a ride in an automobile and gotten stuck in traffic? Anybody? Oh, we have. Oh. Tag. Can be frustrating, but at Muppet Labs, we can make the headache of traffic disappear with our newest creation, the Auto Floater. Right, you can put your hand down. This instant hot air balloon will inflate and force your car to soar over all the others. Well, don't be scared, Beaker. I'll be with you the entire trip. You're not going it alone. Inflate the hot air balloon like so, Beaker, and off we go into the wide blue yonder. No, that's the happy face airbag. Manners, Beaker, manners. <laughs> it's this one here, Beaker. That will launch us into the sky. That was the V6 turbo paper shredder. There went your paycheck, Beaker. <laughs> Here we are. Time to launch into the sky. And then we use a little traveling music. 
Time for the big liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on tight, Beaker. Yes, yes, here we go. Into the sky we go. And lift off. Inflation commence. Here we go. What's wrong, Beaker? Failure. I don't understand. Oh! Dear Beaker, whatever you do, don't scratch your nose. You might blow us all to smithereens. That's all the time we have for this week from Muppet Labs. But thank you all for being such a wonderful audience. Give yourself a hand for being a great crowd. We shall return on Tuesday with more exciting experiments to get you excited about science. So for now, goodbye everyone. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Beaker, don't worry about that nose. We, I've got just the tool to work at the lab for you. It's called a push pin. No? Maybe what we need is a younger person. Yes, any younger people here interested in becoming a lab assistant at Muppet Labs? You got someone new? Let's give this little person a round of applause. Hello there. I'm Dr. Bunsen. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? Hello, Lucy. Lucy, how old are you? Nine years old. Do you, have a, do you have a favorite subject in school, Lucy? History. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. And very coincidental because in a few moments, Beaker will be history. <laughs> All right, Lucy, go ahead and place your hands to the sides of your head and try and think about science. between the center of the Earth and the center of the Moon is 384,450 kilometers. We have a winner! <laughs> wow, Lucy, you're smart. You know what, Lucy, you're smarter than I am. That means I'd have to be your assistant. Uh, hey, let's give Lucy a hand for helping us out. She's going to open up her own laboratory someday. Thank you so much for your help today, Lucy. I'd have to be her assistant. She's too smart for us. We'll have to continue the search for Beaker's replacement later. No, Beaker, it's not time to ride Spaceship Earth. We're on a mission to make science fun. <laughs> hey, speaking of fun, is anyone here celebrating a birthday on December 6th? Do we have any December 6th birthdays here today? Newton, do you see anyone? No, not right now? That's okay. We can skip that portion of the display. No one, Newton? No? All right, that's okay. We'll move on to our final demonstration. How many of you fun folks? have taken a ride in an automobile and gotten stuck in traffic. Anybody? Oh, we have, oh. Tag. Can be frustrating, but at Muppet Labs, we can make the headache of traffic disappear with our newest creation, the Auto Floater. Are you put your hand down. This instant hot air balloon will inflate and force your car to soar over all the others. Well, don't be scared, Beaker. I'll be with you the entire trip. You're not going it alone. Inflate the hot air balloon like so, Beaker, and off we go into the wide blue yonder. No, that's the happy face airbag. Manners, Beaker, manners. <laughs> it's this one here, Beaker. That will launch us into the sky. That was the V6 turbo paper shredder. There went your paycheck, Beaker. <laughs> here we are. Time to launch into the sky. And then we use a little traveling music. <laughs> Time for the big liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on tight, Beaker. Yes, yes, here we go. Into the sky we go. And lift off. Inflation commence. Here we go. What's wrong, Beaker? Failure. I don't understand. Oh! Dear Beaker, whatever you do, don't scratch your nose. You might blow us all to smithereens. That's all the time we have for this week from Muppet Labs. But thank you all for being such a wonderful audience. Give yourself a hand for being a great crowd. We shall return on Tuesday with more exciting experiments to get you excited about science. So for now, goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Beaker, don't worry about that nose. We, I've got just the tool to work at the lab for you. It's called a push pin. No?